So here we are on Garner Avenue, 63139. Um, this is the furnace we're gonna be replacing. We're gonna use the existing return air drop. It's a 20 by 25 filter. Um, we're gonna put an air cleaner in there, but you can see we're gonna to have to put a furnace base to be able to get the airflow through it all the way. Um, the PVC pipe is good, it's three inch. Um, it sloped real good, it's supported real good, and it goes out the side with a concentric um, vent out the side. So we'll be able to use that, um, and that's not gonna be a problem at all. The, uh, um, let's see, you know, tying in the existing gas piping, the existing wiring. He's going with the Nest thermostat. So if you look, there's two main trunks that come off this furnace. This, this one here goes to the third floor, and this one here goes to the second floor. So what I want to do is put a main trunk damper in each one of those sides. Um, I'll get those dimensions for you guys, but we need to, you just need to put a main trunk damper in each one of those. Um, the floor drain is right here, so it's right next to the furnace. Uh, so let's see if there's anything else. So here's the uh, the back side of it, right here. <coughs> there's the condensate drain. Um, you know, also if you could just seal up this ductwork is not very well sealed around here. If you guys could seal around um, uh, this plenum real good. Um, the last thing is the air conditioner is right out here. Um, so, yeah, so it's a real short line set and it's sitting right out back on flat, flat ground. Um, so that's going to be real simple. So I think that's it, guys. Appreciate it. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay. Thanks.